Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is going to be a quick unboxing. Um, I just finished doing my Black Friday one, so I want to do this one quickly. Um, I got this in the mail today. Actually, I got it in yesterday, um, but I forgot about it until now. Um, I got Silver Bullet, which I ordered months and months ago. I've never seen this film. Um, so yeah, I got it. It sounded cool. I like werewolf movies. It's apparently good. It's Stephen King's Silver Bullet. Actually, that's not true. I've seen bits and pieces of it, but I, I have no idea what the story is. And... Um, I've heard it's mostly good. I've I heard some people out there who don't like it, but uh, you know, why not? You know, and I got the poster here too, which we'll show at the end here. But uh, let me open this up because I am super curious about it. I like the cover art and the artwork and stuff, but uh, there we go. And it's double sealed, of course. You know, that's funny. I just I just opened um, Big Trouble Little China a week or so ago, two weeks ago, was it? I don't know. And it didn't say collector's edition at the top. I don't. That must have been a mistake. So I wonder if we can like commission them to do that. It just feels weird not having it there. So I don't know. It's a single disc Blu-ray. It has alternate artwork though, so let's turn that around. Come on now, there we go. Silver Bullets, this I'm assuming is the alt, uh, the original um, theater, theatrical poster art. Let's see, it says, it started in May in a small town, and every month after that, whenever the moon was full, it came back. Very cool. Let's take a look at the cover art again. I like that. I think this is from Devon Whitehead, who has done a lot of them recently. I like them. I, I think I've almost liked every single artwork except for a handful. But um, the main ones they go to are pretty good. Ah, uh, the artists. So there's the synopsis. Stephen King's masterful werewolf novelette comes alive. Um, a Stephen King's thrilling adaptation of his novelette, Cycle of the Werewolf, a peaceful town is suddenly terrorized by a mani maniacal killer. The townsfolk think a madman is on the loose, but a wheelchair-bound 13-year-old, Korean, knows the truth. A werewolf is on the hunt. With the help of his Uncle Ray, Gary Busey, which I can't fucking wait for, young Marty Koslow, is his name Koslaw? Is that him? Oh, it's, uh, that's, that's Korean. Uh, sets out to stop the half-man, half-beast before he sinks his teeth into another innocent victim. Now, time is ticking, and the full moon is about to rise. And there's some images there. New audio commentary with uh, Martha De Laurentiis. A uh, new interview with actor Kent Broadhurst. And a new interview with editor Daniel Lowenthal. And then regular stuff that was probably previously released. Directed by Daniel Atias. That seems that sounds familiar. Is he directed? I feel, like that, he, I feel like he directed like some Seinfeld or something. I don't know. Screenplay by Stephen King too. Hmm. 1985. So very cool. It's not. I feel like the last couple of years now they've not done new transfers. I don't know if that means just not getting the rights for them or something. But you know, I believe it's the same transfer as the Umbrella release, the Australian, and that's apparently pretty good. So I don't know. Hopefully it is. Shit. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at the poster here. I really do love this sort of doing this, so I can... I usually would have to just write what's on it, but this is so much more, more helpful. <laughs> and better, obviously, and cleaner. And here it is before I take the little thing off here. Hold on. Okay. Very cool. I haven't had a single, I think, as far as I know, ever since they started re-rolling uh, re these, I don't think I've had a single one that's been fucked up or scratched or, or ripped or whatnot. That's been awesome. I really wish they would have done that to begin with, but, you know, it took, it took literally thousands of people saying that their fucking shit was broken, that they finally paid up for it, but, you know. 
These just throw these into the thing and just let it go. They don't, they, these do not even have a thing around them, I think. They just threw them in. So, I'm glad they actually eventually did it, but that's it's annoying that it took too long. I've got a lot of these around my room here that are scratched or ripped. It didn't have to be, but I'm glad in the last year they stopped doing that, so. i got to find a place to put this. I am literally running out of room for posters, so. I've got, a, I've got literally a dozen or so. Oh, shit. Sorry, I was putting the tube back in. <laughs> I've got a dozen or so that are just, um, like behind my couch over there, like just on the floor. <laughs> so I gotta find somewhere to put this shit. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Silver Bullet. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna get a chance to watch it. Like I said uh, in my other video, I've I've watched you know 31 straight horror movies in the month of October, and I'm still you know recuperating. <laughs> Um, I've watched some sense, obviously, but um, I'm not in a I'm not in a hurry to keep watching movies like horror movies specifically. But uh, anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, like I said in my other video, I have one more thing um, coming out this week. It's probably I might have even uploaded it today, so maybe it's right after this one. But um, if not, it'll probably be tomorrow or sometime later this week. And if not, then I just didn't do it. So that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you. Um, at the end of the month, probably, other, other, other than this other video. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Have a Merry Christmas and all that. Happy Holidays. It's going to be a nice, hopefully, nice, peaceful month. Hopefully the weather doesn't kill everybody. But uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later, and bye.